Ann Coulter is a writer and a thinker and nobody's victim. She's also about twice as funny as Kathy Griffin, and she joins us now. So victimhood is like a magical elixir that makes any kind of behavior possible, justifies any kind of overreach or cruelty. It's like the perfect it's the perfect tool. Yes, and when, that was the theme of my book, Guilty, how victims had turned themselves into the aggressors and they, thereby went around creating other victims. And victims are the biggest bullies in the country now. If you claim victimhood status, you have to reach out, leap out ahead and claim he who claims offense first wins. Um, but it's really gotten so much more extreme, um, particularly with Trump. Um, particularly with global warming. It's just become this druidical religion of the left. Um, although it was great, I, lo I love seeing the clips from Kathy Griffin's press conference. <laughs> I noticed that none of the networks showed it, whereas Fox News carried it live. <laughs> you well, but it was, well just, it was just, I mean, part of it was you couldn't turn away. Right. It had a car crash quality to it. But it was so revealing of a mindset and a worldview and Lisa Bloom kind of standing behind her, of course, <laughs> needless to say, because her mom wasn't available, I guess, Gloria Allred. But she betrayed no sense of self-consciousness when at a news conference to apologize <laughs> for this act of rhetorical violence, she all sweeping about herself. Yes, 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 and said that this is the first time um, anyone's been attacked by a president. Maybe she hasn't heard of, you know, Kathleen Willey, Paula Jones, Linda Tripp. Matt Drudge was the first person sued by someone working in a White House. Um, no, of course people have been attacked by White House, and I don't think it's an attack for it for Trump just to comment that his 10-year-old son had seen that disgusting image that wasn't funny and wasn't interesting and oh, she was just so smug and thought it was so funny. Well, one of our favorite reporters here, James Rosen, got surveilled by the last right. administration. Now, the, the, the person I felt saddest for, in addition to just all 325 million Americans <laughs> having to watch this, was Kathy Griffin's mom. And apparently she has a mom and she's not in step with her daughter. Here's what Kathy Griffin said about her at the press conference. Fox News ain't got nothing on me. Although I think you should know, my mother, who thinks Fox News is real, is not speaking to me because she's in love with Tucker Carlson. <laughs> so I'm even in trouble with my mother. So don't worry, everyone hates me. I don't want to be mean, but you think that's the real reason her mother's not speaking to her? I actually couldn't hear that. Oh. What did she say? <laughs> she, said, she said that her mom watches this show. And it's made her your so show? mad, yes, that she won't Everybody talk to Kathy. Everybody watches your show. How about that? But, I mean, imagine <laughs> if you were Kathy Griffin's parents, wouldn't, or not her parents, I don't want to be mean, someone around Kathy Griffin, you imagine would say, look, you know, you're a good person, I like you. Don't continue to humiliate yourself in public. Does nobody have people they can <laughs> no, listen I'm to? No, partic I'm particularly doing that. We were all, wait, all wondering. I mean, she must have had, and now we see there's a whole video of it, photographers, makeup artists, and there was no one to say this isn't a good idea. Right. It's not funny. It's really disgusting. We have actual beheadings going on, not only around the world. We always hear about them in Syria. No, who, who pioneered videotaping beheadings? Mexico, of course, um, right on our southern border. But we can't talk about that. Um, no, the left has really... They're, 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 we need a new word for Orwellian. Or